What is going on everybody, Zary here from Zary's Mobile Gaming back at you tonight with a exciting, exciting update for Dragon Champions. Um, before we get into that, if the first time you guys are finding the channel and you're liking what you're seeing, please give me a like, please give me a subscribe, would greatly appreciate it, trying to grow the channel here. A um, couple things, I made a video this morning about the update. Where's the update? What's going on with the update? Etc. Etc. Um, you can check that out if you haven't seen it. Um, then this afternoon, well, mid morning for me, about 9:40 in the morning, we uh, we got news from Emerald Dragon on the Discord. Finally, our build was approved by the stores. Great news. Um, Pumpkin Hollow Howl Days is coming. And then at 10:46, he wrote, "Let's go." Um, 1.34 p.m., they reported some problems. One of the big things I talked about in this morning's video was about how come they didn't, they didn't give us a lot of communication. Where were they? What were they doing? Um, and you know what? Today they, today they made up for that. Um, you know, right away they, they reported to the community there were some problems. Couldn't summon reflections. Some mistakes in the dialogue, some problems with the purchases. Um, also, we will change the requirements from two pandas and two goblins to one panda and one goblin. Awesome. Um, Hotfix will be live in around 24 hours. Requirements for tournaments will be fixed tomorrow. Perfect. And then they, they, there was a mistake where they sent out extra shards to people because there was a glitch when they first unlocked it. And... Um, they sent out extra shards. They they openly admitted they screwed it up. They're not going to remove those shards from those people's accounts um, because it was plus or minus 300, which in the grand scheme of things isn't crazy with 100 over 100,000 downloads. So they owned it. They they had a mistake. They messed up. Guess what? It is what it is. And and they had they had that and they moved on. And then a couple more things is. Um, uh, the Corel tournament will have the ability to purchase additional tickets. Now, they originally said they weren't going to do that, that they weren't going to have the original tickets to be able to be purchased. Um, but they said there that they're, they're sorry for the wrong information they provided before, that it's limited to five per tournament, and that they're going to have it fixed for the next one starting in 24 hours, which we're going to go over in a little bit later. And we've changed the requirements from Corel tournament. For now, just three heroes are required. And you can choose either two damage. You can choose another two damage dealers to prevent infinite loop battles. So they dropped this and they communicated seven times on everything that they found, everything they're working on. Nothing was left in the dark during this whole tournament, which is awesome. So props to them. I kind of said this morning, where were you? How come you're not communicating? Well, they, they, they made up for that today. And if this continues... Guys, we're in for one hell of an experience in a mobile game because I haven't seen devs like this. The communication side I have, especially, you know, playing the Looney Tunes World of Mayhem, those devs, they communicated, they did great, but the issues that people are presenting them with, they're addressing very, very quickly and very fast. So that's huge. So back to the game here. Some new things. First off... I gotta, I gotta say they, they, they've changed this to a holiday theme. Now when you load, there's pumpkins, um, there's custom music, which is awesome. You know, just this, the minor little touch and details. Um, tournaments, tournaments have been added, and we'll go into that in a little bit. And under the events, there is the Corel's Mirror, which is the legendary event. Now it's up for six days takes us right up to the Soleus event, which is awesome. Um, did I unlock her? No, I did not. I was able to use my Orc team that I'm building for Soleus all the way through Mirror 6. Um, Mirror 7 is very much designed for level 60, which I'm okay with because I'm not end game. Um, but the AoE damage they deal, I cannot get through. In 6, I was able to, I lost one person, my healer, Martha, Martha, 
and I was able to win that battle to get me only seven shards away. Now, she can be found... Oh, can't go through there. She can be found on a node already. So, some people in my guild have unlocked her already. And here is my team that I used. Um, just in case you guys were wondering. Traumgar was level 45. 5, 4, 2, 3, 2. Um, gear 6 with one piece on. Runes all at 16. Corcoran, level 45. 5, 4, 2, 3. All runes were 16. Again, gear level 6 with one piece. Rantha, same thing, 45. She was 3, 3, 3, 2, and 4. Um, runes, again, all 16. Mortha here. <clears throat> Mortha was 45 again, gear 6, one piece. She was 3, 4, 3, 3. Runes, all 16. And then... I left my Mar the way he was. Um, I can upgrade him to four star, which is huge. But just for this video's purposes, he was three, 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 and two. Level 45, gear six, one piece, all 16 mods. Or runes, I'm sorry. So let's get out of here. And we can go to our heroes if it wants to load. There we go. And we go down, and I am sitting at 43 out of 50. Character work. She looks better here than she does in the game. But that could be some of the glitchy AI that they're dealing with. Um, but there's a lot of cool detail. Um, the spider kind of look in her hair. The little bat in her chest. And then the bat tattoos. Very, very cool concept. You can tell they put some some time into her so i kind of like that and i'll give them a pass in the game due to the the ai glitches that they're having um but she can be found in a node as i was saying she can be found in three six demons which i don't have unlocked yet i'm really close but i gotta level up a little bit more i'm getting smoked there um three six demons i'm at three four and I'm, I'm, I'm having a tough time clearing that one out to get there. But I'll get there. Um, shouldn't be an issue there. So looking forward to that. Um, so very free-to-play friendly. Very overall good tournament. Now the patchwork that came along. Overall, I am 90% positive on this patch. The tournaments themselves are pretty good I gotta go in and clear out my tickets here um, last time I checked ooh, I dropped quite a bit I was 20 now I'm 4 and 3 some I was 4 and 0 and now I got I lost three times so um, get back in there and climb um, the rewards for this ranks 1 through 3 um, they get 250 Dragon Coins, 700k gold, 80 shards, and a chest, which contains quite a lot of nice items. Um, they don't give any probabilities of what comes with this, because you're not buying it. They don't have to. Like it says, you know, the percentage down here, but I don't know if it's slotted tiers or they it opens just like a normal chest. So we'll have to wait and see what, what comes around with that. Um, but... As far as that, the, the load times I've noticed, especially playing on your phone, have been lengthened since this patch. Um, that's about the only real negative I got to say about the patch so far, is that the load times themselves are way higher. Not on Bluestacks here, it's running a lot better on Bluestacks, but I, I, I have the, the Note 3 XL, it's brand new, and runs like a champ. But today, maybe it's just because the amount of people on too, I don't know. But the load times during the event were norm larger than normal. So there's a quick rundown, everybody, of what we got going on with the patch today. Very cool update. Very good communication. Completely shot down my video this morning. 
but I'm okay with that because we got new content and it's super cool. So, everybody, that's what I got for you tonight. Again, if you're just finding this channel, you want to give me a like and subscribe, that would be humongous. That's all I got for you guys tonight. Have a good, safe night. Won't have a video tomorrow. Tomorrow's Halloween. So, taking the kids out trick-or-treating and whatnot. So, everybody be safe. Enjoy your Halloween. Don't drink and drive. And have a great night. I'm out.